So I'm down in the valley um, and I want to change a couple of things with the vlog because I had some deep insights in the last couple of days. Because I came along this video from these two YouTubers that are somehow involved in van life. I, I never had heard about them or um, about even that big movement of van life. but. They were talking about a friend of theirs, Lee McMillan, and she was a young Canadian YouTuber who, with her boyfriend, traveled uh, through South America and, and accumulated quite a fan base. And um, yeah, and in April, she killed herself. She was 28 years old, she was beautiful, she was. Uh, from the outside having all the things that people think you should have to be happy. But happy people obviously don't kill themselves and we can't look into people and we never really see what's truly going on in them. I mean, I remember that a lot of people looked at me in my life and thought he must be happy and I was so unhappy because we kind of project ideas onto other people, we can't see the inner life. Now, this vlog is really about the inner life because what I also figured, because I watched some, some of the vlogs or of the videos of Glee and her boyfriend, and they went to all these beautiful places in South America and, 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 and they looked so happy and all that doesn't help, that's what I've realized. You know? It doesn't help because even being here on El Hierro, what is kind of a paradise, especially for today's standards. But if you don't connect, or if I don't connect to my inside, it's not gonna help me, you know? I mean, I kind of look at the beach three times, even though there are not even beaches here, but you know, I hop into the water three times and then it's kind of normal and it doesn't fix my inside. Not, none of the things on the outside really fix the inside, only the inside can fix the inside or a connection to the inside and that's what really stuck with me when I, when, when I saw that, you know, when I saw her videos and then also how sad people were that she isn't here anymore. And 
I realized again, you know, how important it is that we find a way in. Because ultimately all the problems we have on this world are connected to a lack of love. There is love, but, you know, we, we kind of pushed it away. I mean, egos can't love. And we all have an ego. So then it gets really hard. An ego can't love anybody. We can't love an ego. Because the problem is also, if you tell somebody love yourself, I mean, what is the self that I'm supposed to love? That would mean that I really have to know who I am. But who knows who they are? I mean, I never met anybody. I mean, they told me some stories about what they were doing and what they think they are based on their past and based on their successes or failures. But that doesn't mean that they know who they are. And that means we're all lost. We all run around here and we don't get anywhere because fame is not going to fix it. Looks are not going to fix it. Relationships are not going to fix it. Nothing does fix anything. Only the, the journey in can fix anything. And then what I really thought was interesting because people were saying that Lee had lost her battle with mental illness. And I'm not, I don't want to say that people have depression and they really, that's obviously it's an illness. But sometimes, I mean, from my perspective at least, I mean, why have a stigma? Because to me, we're all mentally ill, you know, different degrees, obviously. But we all lack love, and what lacking love means, means some sort of mental illness, some level of mental illness. And they're not perfect parents, and, you know, they should have given us the love, but they maybe couldn't, or... I mean, some maybe did, but I don't think any of them did enough. So we all traumatized in different, different ways. So now the question is, you know, what, what do we do? And that is when I realized, you know, it doesn't really help to have another vlog with beautiful pictures of beautiful islands and beautiful drone footage and, you know, talking about going up the hill, down the hill, up the mountain, down the mountain. I mean, it's all interesting, but it doesn't do anything, you know, ultimately. So I want to focus more, again, on the inside, more on what really makes a difference. Because the thing is, all this doesn't make a difference. You know, this is what, as I just said, especially for today's standards, is heaven, you know. I mean, beautiful sunsets and all this, and beautiful nature. But if I'm not connected to the inside, it doesn't do anything. I mean, it's not going to fix me. And I did a lot of stuff. I mean, I did, I did, you know, meditation. I had spiritual teachers. I saw a lot of teachers. I read hundreds and hundreds of spiritual books. I meditated two hours a day years. I practiced yoga for years every day for an hour and a half, two hours. And to me, like, it all failed. And, and that's another thing what just is the feeling for me now after Corona or we're still in the crisis, but I just feel that the past is, is, is done with, you know. I mean, a couple of things I just don't, don't feel like will continue the way they were before. Uh, I mean, it just can't. Because all these things, like even yoga, you know, I mean, taught like thousands of classes. And did it fix anything? Or did it just prolong suffering? Because in a way, sometimes when you help people to bring the suffering down, then they're also, they're not willing to change. I mean, change also comes with suffering. And sometimes when you give people an outlet to let go of some of the suffering, it might also be 
a bad thing because then they continue bad habits. So a lot of things just don't feel to me like they will be after Corona as they were before. I mean, politics, I'm kind of done with. I'm done with the system in a way. Even therapy, this whole spiritual money-making machine, that's stupid anyway, because nobody ever got out of it. It was all for ego purposes again. Even the whole thing with enlightenment. I mean, for so many years I wanted to be enlightened. And why do you want to be enlightened? Because you want to be better than other people. And why do you want to be better than other people? Because you have a big ego <laughs> that wants to be better than other people. So, even spirituality has to be reconsidered. It all has to be reevaluated. I mean, does this all make sense still? Or is it really time to just toss this all into the garbage and just move into something new? And that's what I feel at the moment. You know, it's just time for something new. And then it's sad when you hear that people take their lives. And, you know, that might be also due to the whole uh, lockdown thing, you know, that a lot of people talked about this as well, that obviously will save some but will lose some because if you have already depression and then you are locked away I mean and you can't travel you can't do the things you did before you can't meet your friends and you're already depressed I mean what do we expect you know but the the main issue is a lack of love so I gonna dedicate this vlog from now on to love that sounds really cheesy but I mean, mainly it's loving yourself, because if you have a good, obviously a good connection to yourself, then you also have love for nature, you have love for animals, you have love for other people. But how do we connect, you know, because that's a big problem. I mean, tell somebody love yourself and they don't know who they are, so how can you in, in, in any way love themselves? And that's when the whole thing with the inner child kicks in, because if we... created an ego because we had no love and since we didn't have love we separated a part of ourselves because we thought we need some help to navigate through this difficult world since we didn't feel loved then that means basically love will fix that so having a relationship with your child, loving your child um, unconditionally, accepting your child for what it is, then you do what your parents didn't do, your surroundings didn't do, because ultimately what we need is love and support. And a lot of our children, or we as children, didn't have that, because those people didn't love themselves and they were too busy with other things, and they didn't even know better, you know. We don't have to fix ourselves, we basically have to have this connection because we lost the innocent, the beautiful part of ourselves due to a lack of love. Then we created an ego, we had an idea about ourselves, and the, the less love we had, the bigger the ego got because it needed to balance that out. And then that ego tried to conquer the world and find happiness. But then it relates back to what I said a few days ago that how can you find happiness in things that don't exist? Because I was mentioning this book by Srinya Zagarata Maharai who said everything that has a beginning and has an end isn't real. So we invest a lot of time in things that aren't real because the car isn't real, the job isn't real. Well, the relationship is probably not real either. If, if there is not love, you know, then it's a different story. But So the big question is, you know, what do we invest our time in? And do we want to continue to invest our time into things that are meaningless? Because they have a beginning and have an end. But if we find the connection, if we can connect to our inner child, if we feel that we're loved. The true self, you know, what 
to me as the inner child, feels loved by whatever that ego is, the adult, then it can blossom. Then we can love ourselves. And we can spread that love, you know. We can love others and we can love animals and we can treat the planet differently and all that stuff, is, it's all connected. It's all a lack of love. And this is why I want to focus with this vlog on love. Because that's what we need. We don't need another vlog with beautiful pictures. I mean, that's a result of loving yourself. But it's a different connection then. And if you don't have that, then you still have yourself. And you're free, you're independent. You don't need anything. Basically, you have it all. So thank you so much. That's it for today. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye for now.